There was an open date in there. Before we got used a policy mind. decision has got to be made this afternoon in Arkansas. You got what time? It's just got to be made. Right. I don't, we don't think we can put it all day long. All the pieces are on the board. Yeah, we're going to uh, adopt a policy about Arkansas and I think about uh, Virginia. Well, I think it's. There, I mean, to my mind, Virginia's a little closer down my list, but the same. I thing. know, but I mean, if, we, if we're going to stay out of Virginia, we might as well stay out of Arkansas. Well, they're a couple. Of, they're a little different problem. I would, I would let that one worry me. I'd, uh, I'd stick with the bigger ones like Virginia, because when you win one of those, you win something. We are running out of time. We ought to have a day for Maryland to taste the date of campaign in Maryland. Well, it doesn't offend me to, uh, to scrub off and I scrub off. Been, so. But I'm worried about losing it, though. I'm just telling you. Well, I think that's I think we really I'm not good. worried about losing Virginia. Well, there's, there's, there's a there's good mind down there, Ross. Yeah. A lot of good But mind. I think, uh, it's, it's well, the first thing that we told is prayers and things like that. We have a 200 dollars in advance from Cal. medium well. And that one. That one was a $50,000 check plan. And here, uh, I'll, uh, something for you. We're hoping that there will be some additional this funds. This is medium rare, you say? You've got I mean, this uh, is a uh, medium. Yes, it is. Well, well, I mean, that's what he's there. I asked the question. Yeah, yeah, two two medium medium don't keep it up. If you're not yeah, making it, those are medium rare. That's medium. Is this medium rare? This is a medium rare? Yes, sir. Where's the medium rare? Where's the medium rare? Medium rare. Which one? This one. This one's medium well. Just take it. All right, I'll take it. Where's the medium rare? Oh, well, yeah, right. This is no, medium. Smart to down. Medium well. He got medium well. Yeah. That's medium rare. That's medium rare, right? No, this is rare. This is rare. There are two medium rare over there, both of them. What, so what is this one? Then? This is medium, and that's medium well. This is medium one. well? Yes, sir. This is medium. This is medium. And that's medium rare. Medium rare? You want medium rare? I don't care. We're medium well. That make it a difference to me. <laughs> Welcome to Screening Room. I'm Robert Gardner. <clears throat> the gentlemen you just saw are Republican bigwigs at the uh, Summer Hotel in Washington in 64. What you probably don't know is that it was shot by the bemused, almost satirical eye of Ricky Leacock, who's my guest today. Well, Ricky, I finally got you here. Uh, this is, you know, getting on to the end of the series, but uh, you are here. I trapped you. You tried to get away. Why? Oh, we've been having our troubles. Whenever you're developing anything new, yeah. um, you think, you know, that it's all going to be finished by September and all of a sudden it's Christmas and then it's July again. It just takes a long time to do it. I always find that uh, it's easy to say something six months ahead of time and then uh, you think it's, everything's going to be ready, but it never is. So right. Then we get to six weeks. And it's so I'm, I'm glad you forced our hand because it never will be ready. <laughs> Well, I think we're ready today. We're, we we got a lot of stuff anyway. But I want to start back a little ways. I mean, I want to start back to a point where, you know, a lot of people uh, know about you. And I don't know the year exactly, but it's back, I guess, at the end of the 30s almost, isn't it, uh, when you were working with... Well, I started... Actually, I went a sort of a circle. Um, the first film I made was when I was 14, in, what, 1935. Um, it had to do with explaining where I came from, I went to school in England, I'd grown up in the Canary Islands, and film just seemed to be a marvelous way to do that. Yeah. And I actually started on 16 then, um, and it was very easy to go out and make a movie. You just grabbed a camera out of your right. daddy's closet? Right, I mean, it closet. wasn't that expensive. I think you could get a key, I had a Keystone camera made here in Boston, I think, and it probably cost about $40 or something. You bought some film, and we went out and we made a movie. It was a very nice little movie and it wasn't expensive and it wasn't particularly complicated. But then, you know, having this sort of idea of using film as a way of observing things, of, of sort of encapsulating your observations of things, um, when Sync Sound came along, it became appallingly difficult. Um, mm. Then, you know, we would think, we're talking in, in terms of 35 millimeter equipment, and even though we wanted to go out into the real world and observe. And tried with Flaherty <coughs> in Louisiana Story. Right yeah. there we were using a, a, a disc recorder, um, a camera that weighed, what, 200 and something pounds in the, 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 the sound sequences. Yeah. Yeah. See, the yeah. bulk of that film was still silent shooting, done with the Laraflexes and had a great deal of mobility in it. 
But every time we tackled sound, every time we wanted sound, dialogue or something, yeah, yeah. it yeah. just paralyzed us. And it paralyzed the film too. Right. right. Yeah. I and mean, you can see the difference in the film. Those sequences are just agony for me to sit through mm. Um, mm. because each line had to be sort of hand fed, and it very nearly got me out of documentary altogether because I figured if you're going to use, you know, written lines and essentially actors, then why not do it properly and go the whole hog and get good actors get and good features, writers yeah. and get into features. Yeah. But I had a problem there in that I got monumentally bored with what can be, for some people, a very exciting process, working in studios and with this kind of control. The only times I found that I really enjoyed myself and things came to life were when things went wrong. dramatically yeah. wrong, <laughs> and, which is really what the kind of filming I'm in, most intrigued by yeah. is involved with. So, so anyway, briefly, um, technology had to catch up. We, you know, the transistor had to be invented, magnetic tape, etc. And in the early 60s, um, we were able with relatively light equipment to go out and do the kind of film that we wanted to. And Ricky, I think we've got to get back into the uh, pictorial part of this and uh, see your uh, film called Queen of Apollo. We can talk about it That's afterwards. an example. Yeah, um, it's an example of this. Just two people and relatively light equipment. Okay, let's go to that then. <laughs> 